What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at a cool little medieval dagger. I call it the Mortal Kombat dagger. They had a few different styles online so we went ahead went with this one. It is super sharp guys so let's dive into it. Let's see what this thing's got. All right, so it comes with a little plastic sheath right here. It actually has aluminum bolsters on it, which is pretty surprising for the cost of it. Slides out just fine. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about this sheath right off the bat. Not too much on it right here. So right here on the close-up, if I can get it to focus right. Now, I don't know what all the little medieval markings are, but it's got a cool pattern to it. This is just plastic right here. Seems like I could really squeeze it hard and pop this thing. But right back here, you've got some more. I guess that'd be the bolster of your sheath. But right in there, almost looks like styrofoam. And then if I were to snap it, I feel like that would be the case. And I guess that's keeping it from scratching up the inside or just that makes the slide a little easier right there. Let me show you this right down here. So for looking at the handle, and maybe if I scoot it back, eh, this isn't going to be good right here with this close-up camera. But it's a good-looking knife. This has a marble-type feel. It's just plastic right there with, I guess that's an N over a C. Like again, guys, not sure what a lot of these markings are. There's a little knight head back here. Ah, damn it! Look, I'm busy, all right? Oh, okay, I'll come back later. Show y'all this. Might show it to y'all upside down. Or to the side, but as you can see, that's the head of a knight. Right here, you do have your eagle emblem. And then on the back, you have, looks like a cross with a star in front of it. So... Again, not sure what a lot of these mean. It's a little bit too small. Well, no, it's not. That's a little bit better grip right there for me if I were to have to use it, you know, for all the times I need this dagger come out. But this is what it looks like, guys. It's super lightweight. It's got a good finger guard right here if you were to stab. It's to stab in right there. So that's pretty cool that they implemented that into it. But right here, guys, this blade is super sharp. No. Oh my god! Yeah. Right off the bat, as you can see. Now, this thing is super dull, so it's going to be a show knife. Even the point on it is super dull. But if I had to, it could get the job done. But as far as cutting goes, it's definitely just going to be a cool little costume knife, show knife. But be careful because even if you were playing around, this tip is sharp enough to stab so just be careful there it's just an all cheap stainless steel i'm sure it's not even 440 but let me give you all a close up on it spear point blade of course you got two bevels you know see how it splits right there in the side so it's almost like you could sharpen both sides of it and it's no they didn't i was gonna say it almost feels like they might have tried but Moving on down, it's a little bit thicker right there. So, I know it's kind of a simple review. Just wanted y'all to check out this cool little dagger. But while we're on it, I'm not going to test out the sharpness because it's pointless. I'm testing out right now on my arm. But I do want to go at least get the weight and measurements of this knife. Alright, let's get the weight on this thing real quick with the sheath on it. You know what, that's actually heavier than I thought it was gonna be, but it does have a lot of metal right here on the bolsters. Let's check it out without, yeah, that seems about more right. So, almost two ounces right there just on the sheath itself, but still, I mean, that's a super lightweight dagger right there. So, let's see what the measurements are on it got the ruler right here let's see if i can zoom this camera in well i might have to zoom it out some look at that guys exactly 12 inches this thing's a foot long with the handle being well really 
if you're gonna count the handle like this, it's gonna be four inches right there with a, because this might do it, seven and three-fourths inch blade right there. So, nice blade on it. Size-wise, the handle could be just a tad bit bigger, but still, not too bad. When you pull the dagger out, it's going to be 12 inches right there, total length. So, you know, it's actually pretty fun. I can see how these could be fun. Maybe a little bit bigger for my hands. Maybe it's a little bit wider, but it's super lightweight. You can have some fun with this thing, but it's definitely a costume knife, show knife, dagger. But, you know, there's no pocket clip, belt clip, or anything like that. So my guess is that you would have to run you know, an external strap, definitely not your belt, around you to have it on your hip like this. But you could pull it out. Well, if it's tight, I don't know, you would probably want some mechanism running through your belt back through here to really hold it in place. When you pull with not, it's going to be drawing. But anyway, I'm acting like you're going to be using it, you know, for anything other than show. But that's it, guys. Just a quick review on it. Don't know the name of it. I'll leave it in the link in the description below if you want to go check it out. This thing is super cheap, but we're actually going to be giving this thing away this coming up Friday, or it might be the Friday after. But anyway, if you want to go check out our Friday night knife giveaways, we're actually doing them over on our website now. You know, we can no longer do them here on YouTube, so we just moved them over there. So if you want to go check it out, it's at productprobes.com. Right up there at the top, you'll see it. Come join us. We have a lot of fun over there. So appreciate you watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.